Judging anime swords based on how effective they'd be as actual swords. This is a penguin in a top hat, not a sword? Why do swords from JoJo's always have parts from the guards that are pointing down to your hand, which would really limit what you can do? Although other than that, it's a functional blade. This is just like 50 blades duct taped together with belts? Just take one of them out and use it like a sword. This one from Goblin Slayer is really interesting because at first glance, it doesn't look like a historical sword. However, it does. Meet the Chinquidea, which is technically a long sword and is a kind of strange weapon, but it exists. And it's pretty much the same. 